Welcome, today we continue the series of videos. Send email with Spring Boot. We will explain how we can use Timeleaf templates to send text and HTML messages with a Google Gmail account. We are starting a new project in Eclipse. In the Palm XML we have the following dependencies. Spring Boot Starter 3.1.5 Java version 21 Spring Boot Starter Web Spring Boot Starter Email Spring Boot Starter Timeleaf Timeleaf Spring 6 and Timeleaf Layout Dialect then the application YAML file, server port 8080, and all the settings to send an email. Username. Here you must use your own name. Host. Gate. Password. If you want to test the code you will have to create a new password for your own account. This password is no longer valid. Protocol. Auth. Start TLS required. Start TLS enabled. And debug. All properties are read into the mail config class and sent to the Java mail sender. In the mail sender service we make the Java mail sender and Spring template engine available with constructor injection. In this example we have two methods here. Send HTML mail and send text mail. In the send HTML mail method we start with my message create my message. Context and set the username as a variable. Create the text for the email. And create a my message helper. In the helper we put the necessary configuration and send the message. The send text mail method is identical with a few minor settings. The last class is a REST controller to send an email as HTML and an email as text. The following files are the templates. The email HTML file is a standard HTML file, you can adjust this file to your own preferences. The email text file is a text file containing the formatting for the email. As you can see, you can also pass variables here from the service or controller. We can now start and test the project. In a browser window we open localhost port 8080 slash email text. After a little pause we get the answer from the Spring Boot application. We can now open a second window called localhost port 8080 slash email html. After a little pause we get the answer from the Spring Boot application. We can now look at our email program to see if we received the two messages. In our email program we have now received two new emails from our program. With the expected subject and body. That's it for this video, in the next video we will explain how we can send email messages with attachments. Thank you for following us and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your support.